We do research on music technology. Research which involves uh, general engineering disciplines like signal processing, machine learning or human-computer interaction and more domain-specific disciplines like music information retrieval or computational musicology. Throughout our more than 25 years of history, we have produced a large body of research outputs, some of them with a big social impact. Success stories include uh, the React Table, Vocaloid, Free Sound or Essentia. And we work using open science principles, which means that we promote collaborations with other research groups and companies and that we also try to involve the society at large. University education is very much our core activity, uh, through which we want to train the next generations of researchers and developers. For example, in the Master in Sound and Music Computing, we bring excellent students uh, from all around the world that want to learn and work with us. From that experience, uh, these students are then able to go on and develop successful careers in music technology. With our research, we cover quite a number of topics within uh, the field of music technology and we always try to emphasize social, industrial and cultural impact. New music technologies bring, like these synthesizers did half a century ago, new forms of creating and performing music. So we design interfaces, music instruments and tools aiming to empower people's creativity. Some of them are more oriented towards professionals, performers or music producers for helping and inspire them in their creative flow. Others are meant for everyone for democratizing the joy of music creation. Some of our creations such as the React Table, have been conceived following mainly interaction, design and sound synthesis principles. But we go further and we also study, analyze and try to understand music of different genres or styles for developing computational music models, algorithms and instruments with musical intelligence. The singing voice is one of the most complex musical instruments and its computational modeling has been one of our long-term research challenges. We have developed algorithms for the automatic description of singing voice recordings in terms of pitch, melody, expression or style. Our work on singing voice synthesis aims at improving naturalness and expressivity of synthetic singing. Our algorithms can model the particular expression and timbre of a singer by analyzing natural songs. We can now do voice cloning from just a few minutes of audio. Our research combines our deep knowledge on signal processing and acoustics with recent data-driven deep learning architectures. We have addressed the computational modeling of different single styles, from flamenco to pop, from soloist to choirs. The analysis of audio signals combined with the accompanying metadata allows novel approaches for describing and interacting with sound and music content. We work on different levels of analysis, from low and mid-level acoustic and musical features to semantic categories such as moods, genres and instrumentation, applying a wide range of signal processing and machine learning methodologies. We emphasize the development of open source software, with Essentia being one of our main contributions. This software library addresses diverse research and industrial use cases, be it prototyping a research experiment, running a large-scale analysis of audio collections on a server, or even real-time applications in a web browser. We also work on building complete systems that allow search exploration and recommendation within large sound and music catalogs. Here, we're interested in approaches that enhance user experience, providing alternatives to standard recommendation algorithms. A common goal in many of our research projects is the creation of large sound and music collections, releasing them as open datasets that can be reused by researchers and practitioners, typically under Creative Commons licenses. For example, 
Using content from our Freestand Collaborative platform, we have published many datasets, including FSD50K, a dataset with 50,000 well annotated sound events. As another example, in collaboration with Music Brains, we have created Acoustic Brains, an open dataset containing music analysis data of millions of tracks. In an academic context, such large and open datasets need to be created following collaborative approaches that engage a community of contributors. Most of the datasets we published have been created with audio content and annotations contributed by many people around the world. Most of the technologies being used to explore, listen and make music are culturally biased, mainly towards Western cultures. To address this challenge, we are studying non-Western and non-mainstream music repertoires, trying to understand the specificities and develop technologies to support them. We collaborate with musicologists and musicians from the culture we study, compiling corpora and identifying culture-specific problems. We also developed a number of open software tools to analyze this corpora and extract meaningful musical concepts like melodic and rhythmic patterns. Apart from the cultural bias, we also analyze the societal biases and fairness of the technologies coming from the music information retrieval field, and we particularly look at music recommender systems. Music education is one of the topics in which technology is having the biggest impact, but many challenges are still open. Based on signal processing, machine learning, and motion capture techniques, we develop technologies to understand and enhance the music instrument learning process. We facilitate learning and assessment of most aspects of music performance, from sound quality production and gestural control, to intonation, rhythm, timbre, and expression. We collaborate with music education institutions to pedagogically validate and evaluate our technologies and put them in practice in real scenarios. Listening to music may be an extremely fulfilling experience and there are some medical conditions that can be improved with a proper selection, adaptation or dosing of music. We do research on autobiographical music memories and how mobile devices and music personalization may improve the physical, cognitive and emotional conditions of people, especially when affected by Alzheimer's dementia. We investigate the effectiveness of using music with autistic children for enhancing their visual emotion stimuli processing. In collaboration with medical doctors and music therapists, we look into how music interactions can improve the emotions of people with depression or terminal cancer. If music listening provides many benefits, playing and performing music greatly extends them. We investigate the role of music playing in stroke rehabilitation by designing adaptive digital music instruments and making them available to people with motor disabilities. A large part of our research is very much applied and for this reason technology transfer is a fundamental aspect in our activities. We collaborate actively with the industry and those collaborations help us identify and understand the problems and the market needs and also give us the opportunity to maximize the impact of our research in real scenarios. Also through our collaborations we have access to sound and data that is very useful to improve our research and technologies. We have different types of collaborations with companies, R&D projects, license of technologies and industrial PhDs. In addition, we have created various spin-off companies contributing to the music tech industry ecosystem. We put our capacities and technologies at the service of society, contributing to cultural projects and connecting with the creative community, both locally and internationally. Through the Phonos Foundation, we curate a performance series of music made with the latest technological advances and arrange panels with artists, scientists and engineers seeking to establish fruitful interdisciplinary collaboration across these fields. We also organize educational activities for specialized and amateur audiences, young and senior, reaching out to members of society in and outside academic and art worlds. We believe that our work can have a positive impact in people's lives. For this reason, it is crucial for us to communicate and transfer our knowledge and experience to society. 
The Music Technology Group is part of the Universitat Pompeu Fabra in Barcelona, and you can join us by enrolling in the educational programs we are involved in, by applying to the research positions, collaborating with our open initiatives, or by participating in our public activities.